I wanted to talk about emotion management. Um, I didn't think of it as such when I started thinking that um, I wanted uh, truth to be a way of life uh, and uh, then I wanted calmness to be a way of life. And as I've become better and better at, uh, at being calm, even though it seems like I've been working on it forever, um, it seems like I have a long way to go. But I do realize as like my calmness is effective to the point where I can tell the second it starts to deviate from, you know, right in the green zone, right in that, that narrow spectrum where calmness resides, um, the second that needle starts to deviate, um, I'm, I'm more aware of it, um, which makes me cherish uh, the happiness and uh, makes me guard against um, things that destroy calm. And I think that now that I have a kind of a baseline to work on. I kind of wonder if it might be time to uh, expand um, my emotional management to uh, to other aspects, being um, being better at uh, expressing anger or or joy or, or all all the different uh, uh, spectrums of emotions and interactions. Um, I've seen I've seen some people, some sometimes people have objected to how I've handled uh, situations that that could have justifiably uh, um, had me express anger during them, but it's, sometimes it seems to me that like it's just as important, if not more important, with what you give to a situation. Say someone's being rude and terrible, um, I think that uh, being kind of like kind yet uh, yet unwavered uh, like someone's emotions uh, or anger isn't going to like change what I'm going to say or do uh, or uh, um, affect me in any way that I don't agree to uh, so so I, someone was like just was foul to me and uh, I was real polite to them and at the end of it, uh, they said something negative about uh, about me, about the about my work, and I said, "Well, at any point in time, wasn't was I uh, anything other than uh, professional and helpful to you?" Um, and they're like, "No, it's not that." And I said, "Well, at any point in time, did you not think that I was giving my full effort to making sure that you got what you wanted?" And they're like, "Well, yeah, you did that, but..." And then they just kept talking, but. The thing was, like, they were terrible, and yet they admit that I was kind, professional, and hardworking. So uh, that's that's what I wanted to leave there. I think I remember reading some uh, historical novels where uh, a Lewis and Clark uh, footnote, and uh, I can't rem remember the name of the ship that was stranded in Antarctica for so long, um, but uh, a couple times there was a private talk between people that was... Uh, Essentially, along the lines of, um, in a way, we're making history. So, if you behave this way, if this is the things you're going to say and do, are you prepared to have that recorded for, you know, as long as people could remember this? And uh, in both cases, the people changed their uh, their behavior. They didn't want to be known as, um, say, like the, with the Lewis and Clark expedition. Uh, evidently, there was a uh, a trouble, a trouble between a man and a wife, and uh, there was a worry that that would work its way into uh, historic, uh, historical novels or um, or be retold. So I, I kind of feel the same way. It's like uh, whatever the situation, I want to be remembered as uh, what I intended to leave behind, not to how I how I reacted to, um, and reacted. I mean, like rather than act it. Um, I don't want to want to react angrily to every situation that actually really deserves anger. So, yeah. Earl on, uh, on uh, management of emotions. Peace out. See you in the tubes. Or on the street. I can see you down there.